I'm going to show you how you can get more clients for your agency using Twitter outreach, okay? Now, why should you believe me? Why should you believe that I can actually do this? Well, I've scaled a outbound agency all the way till 10K per month. Literally, the only thing I do is set appointments for other agencies. So kind of has some credibility, kind of know what I'm talking about. Basically, results of this Twitter campaign, you can probably get around one to three appointments every single day with the strategies that I'm going to show you, okay? That's realistic for one single account. Obviously, you can scale up more than that if you would like to, right? So I'm gonna show you how to do this on autopilot, right, with software, and show you how to completely automate it. I'm gonna show you how to find leads for free I'm also going to show you how you can actually message those leads and I'm going to show you even my very own scripts that I've used to sign my very first client with Twitter Outbound, okay? So stick to the end of the video for that and let's get straight into it. So there's four things that you need to do with Twitter Outreach in order to succeed, okay? So you have to set up your profile in a way that when people actually go and see your message and click on your profile, they're going to be like, okay, this person actually knows what they're talking about. Let me go and actually take his message as credible, right? You also need to be able to get the right leads, right? Because if you have everything else, right? You have amazing profile, but you're sending the message to the wrong people, they're not gonna care, right? You need to know how to actually automate this because you're probably not gonna wanna sit there and send hundreds of DMs every single day, okay? And if you are able to send hundreds of DMs every single day, you're gonna really succeed, right? And I'm gonna show you how to be able to do that automatically, okay? And I'm also gonna show you my scripts and how to write amazing scripts more so my just like the scripts that I've used that have worked extremely well for me. Um, so you can copy and paste them, put them into your own business and see results, okay? So those are the four pillars. Let's get into what you actually need to do for the first one, which is profile optimization, okay? So when we're looking at our profile, right? So a few things we need to actually kind of have in place in order for it to work, okay? So you can see this banner, right? Um, mine is very simple. You do not want to have a big banner um that's kind of displaying what you do right you don't want to have your offer in your banner you don't want to have like all these crazy things in your banner it's supposed to be simple right a really great banner to have is just an exit like a just as an example you can have like a skyline of your city right you can just have a simple quote um with a black background same as me right it's very simple it's very straight to the point the reason why you want to do this is because when people click on your profile right and they see that oh this guy has this like offer in his thing or whatever like they're gonna be like okay this guy's trying to sell me something i don't want to read it um i don't like this guy and then they're gonna click off your profile just like that okay so you do not want to trigger that resistance right you want to make it as easy as possible for them to respond to you you do not want to come off as someone who is trying to sell them something okay so that's why you need to do that second part your profile picture this doesn't have to be extravagant okay mine is literally just a picture of my face with a, like a big background okay you don't even have to be like as extravagant like this. Like if I wanted to, I could literally take a screenshot of this. Um, like I could literally just take this and that could be my profile picture. Probably not like looking like this with my mouth open, but you get the point, right? It doesn't have to be very extravagant. It can be very, very simple. As long as it's just a picture showing your face to show the other person that you are a real human. Okay, now talking about your name, right? Now I have my kind of what I do inside of my name. Now this isn't like necessarily important, um, but it does kind of help, right? Just showing that, okay, this guy's talking about direct response marketing. He actually knows like his name also says direct response in it. So maybe he has some idea of how to actually, um, how to actually do direct response marketing, right? Cause that's what I do. Um, and that's essentially what outreach is and it's what ads are and all these different things. Okay. So this can literally just be your name. Okay. You don't have to have this. Like it's not, I don't need to go over your name. Okay. Username, right? Your username, this is important. Um, it should basically be similar to your name and it should not have any like numbers or like weird characters in it because people see that and they're like okay this is probably like a fake account right so you want to like the whole point of this is just to appeal like appear as real as humanly possible okay and ideally this is your real account okay so i'm down here right you can have like your vsl like i do um so you can do that um it's not 100 percent necessary but it can help um and then for your location you just put like whatever you're actually selling kind of uh pointing towards that right um you can have a entrepreneur or whatever in here if you want to and this part really isn't that important okay now this part is like the followers part is semi-important okay so if you have zero followers it is going to make you appear less credible okay and if you want a short-term fix for this, you can buy followers for very, very, very cheap. Like I think you can buy like a thousand followers for like five bucks. Okay. So you can do that if you want. Personally, I actually use Twitter as an inbound method as well. So I actually want to build a, like a real profile. So these are all like actual followers. Um, and the way you do that, like I can make a whole separate video if you guys want to on how to actually get inbound, um, 
like inbound clients on Twitter. Um, but basically, this is not kind of for that, right? But if you really want to establish some credibility, you need to actually post tweets um, regularly. I have mine scheduled to send one tweet every single day. Uh, and then I go on there uh, like randomly and, and tweet some things if I feel like it, right? So like just get some like just post some tweets um it like this isn't gonna i'm not gonna tell you how to scale your your kind of content for your twitter account but being able to actually have followers so people see okay this guy isn't just a bot right it is very important okay now final thing is tweets you do have to have something okay it doesn't have to be good like obviously if it's better um, it is going to be like you are going to be more credible, right? Like I've split tested this where I've ran my account side by side with a, a fake account where everything is the same except the Twitter, like obviously the content wasn't there um, and it did do slightly worse, right? Like I think my positive reply rate on here is like 15%. And then the, the positive reply rate on another one was like 10%. Okay, so it will, it will definitely help if you have like 2000 posts, right? It definitely will help. But is it the end of the world? Are you still going to get clients if you don't have this? Yes, you are. Are you going to get as many? Probably not. Okay. So I would recommend investing into that. Um, that's for a different video though. Okay. So just make sure you have something, right? If you want, you can just, I'll link my uh, Twitter in the description somewhere. Um, I normally do that in my videos, right? So you can just go down there um, after this video and, and take inspiration from these posts if you want. Um, it's not too complicated, but it does take practice to actually get good at it over time. But just post something, right? If you have like 10 tweets on here, as long as it's not nothing, okay? And as long as it's actually relevant to your niche, right? So if you're in the plumbing niche and you're talking about like all this self-improvement shit, like I see way too many people do, right? Like they're in the roofing niche and they're talking about like how your Facebook pixel works. It's like no one gives a shit, okay? You need to talk to the person about their situation, how you can help their situation, right? Things like this, right? So for example, in my niche, right? Self-improvement is like a decently big thing, right? People are all in both these like fucking cold showers and shit. So I tweet some, sometimes about those things, but for your niche, it might be different. Okay, so you actually have to understand the industry that you're in. Again, I can make a complete another video on that. Um, that's kind of outside the, the scope of this video, okay? Profile optimization, that is pretty much it. It's not actually it, right? Get this check mark, it's 10 bucks a month. Okay. If you can't pay 10 bucks a month, like this will legitimately, this check mark will increase your, your like reply rate significantly. Okay. Like if you can't pay 10 bucks for a check mark, you should not be on this video because you don't care enough about your business to invest $10 a month. Okay. $10 a month, you're going to increase your reply rates by like probably 50%. Okay. I'm not even kidding. Um, anyways, get the check mark. Okay, um, you just go to here and then you buy it for 10 bucks. Okay, that's pretty much your profile optimization. Next point, right? We wanna go over actually scraping leads. So how are we able to get people to send the messages to? So in the top of the description, there is going to be a link. Um, it is a referral link for transparency to a software called Drippy. Now to actually scrape the leads, it's free to send the messages to the leads. Uh, automatically, then it is paid, right? But if you use the link in my description, you'll get 10% off, okay? But I, if, if you don't like me for some reason, then you don't have to use it, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hop over to Drippy, okay? This is the this is the app, right? So you're gonna go to Find Leads, and you're gonna go to New Lead Source, right? And you're going to go to this one, right? You're gonna go to Lead Scraper, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you are going to go buy well, you can go by either one of these. Now, I would personally recommend that you go by account source. And the reason for that is you are going to have more people, right? You're going to have more people in here. And we're going to show, I'm going to show you how to filter these people so that they actually match your ideal client persona. But we are going to want to go with the more volume approach um, when we're actually finding leads, okay? So we need to find a person to scrape their followers, okay? So you kind of have to brainstorm about this, right? Now, what you can do here is you can look for business coaches that are coaching people in your niche. So for example, if you are working with real estate agents, you can look for real estate consultants, search them up on Twitter. You can even go to people, like just think as a realtor, like as a realtor, if you're on Twitter, who are you following? Probably you're following like Zillow, Remax, you're probably following, um, I don't know, whatever like the realtor gurus are, right? You're probably following those people. So what you wanna do, right, is you can go to Twitter um, and you can just search up here, right? You can just search up, like Zillow, for example. Um, and then you can grab this, 
And that's not, I didn't need to do that. Um, and then you can go back here, all right? And you can just paste this in here, and then you can go to, um, you can just followers are following, or you can really choose both, right? I'm gonna make this smaller because this is uh, taking up the entire screen, okay? So you can choose followers and following, and then you're gonna click add source, okay? Now, in potential leads here, you want at least 250,000, okay? I would do I would do a million, but you can do 250,000 at the very least, okay? Because you actually want to have, like, because we're gonna narrow these down to actually people who are fit with like things in their bio and things like that, okay? I'm gonna show you how to do that later, but we wanna fold this up, right? So what we can also do is we can go to like Remax. Um, right, like we can take these guys, boom, boom. Um, pop over into here. Oh, I'm sure you have my scripts. Um, you can go over into here and we can grab the followers, right? We have another hundred thousand, right? So we can look up, um, I don't know, maybe real estate. Where did my picture go? Guru on Twitter. Okay, real estate guru on Twitter. Okay, there's my picture again. Um, so we look for someone with a lot of followers, right? So this guy's the real deal real estate guru, okay? So this guy has 18,000 followers, so he's probably a good person. We could just steal this guy's followers, okay? So we're going to grab this link here. We're going to hop over into Drippy again. We can go over to account source, um, and we can just... Okay, so this account actually does not let you see their followers, okay? So there are some like that, um, and then it's just tough luck, right? Now... Uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to go over every, like, to get to a million. And honestly, you probably, like, once, like I said, probably good with 200,000, 250,000. Um, we'll leave it at this, and then we'll go, right? So, there's a couple things that we can do here. Save filter. I don't even know what this is. Actually, no, this is literally just using a filter that I used before, okay? That makes sense. Um, but there's these five things that you can filter by, okay? And we're probably going to want to use all of them. So, number of followers, we don't want them to be, like, zero followers, because it's probably pretty weird, okay? So, just have it like 50, right? They don't have to be super huge, but make sure they're actually a real and active account, okay? Let me just adjust this for a second here. So, number of following, right? We also, like if they're following, actually, yeah, if they're following like zero people, then they're probably like, think they're super cool, Um, which honestly, actually, it's probably fine, okay? Number of tweets, Um, we want them to have some tweets just to make sure that they are actually active. So we probably want them to have just at least five tweets. It doesn't have to be a lot. Um, but as long as they have something, okay. And then bio contents, right? So for example, um, what would a realtor have in their bio, right? So we can look at maybe like realtor, probably, right? They maybe have real estate, okay? Now we can't actually do that because it's two words, but we can just do um, estate, right? We can do broker, for example. Um, we can do, um, I don't know, maybe residential. Um, just anything that a realtor might have in their actual bio, okay? Um, I'm not a real, I'm not in the real estate niche, so I don't know all the different things, but like you can kind of figure out what keywords will probably um, be in your niche's bio, right? So what you do, um, yeah, what you do is you just add this filter, exclude bio contents. Maybe you don't want a real estate consultant, for example. You just actually want realtors. So what you can do is you can exclude the word consultant from here. Right, you can exclude the word maybe you don't want investors, right? Uh, maybe you don't want commercial realtors. And it's probably good, right? So you can add this filter, right? So now, once we've had all those filters, now we have 64,000 leads still, right? That's a lot. So what we do is we go next, um, and we just make sure that these are, are good leads, right? So serving the greater Cincinnati area, my real estate team, okay, he's got a real estate team, real estate media, bank, BRK, creative strategist, um, good. Uh, Michigan real estate agent, good. Um, Coffee keeps me on rock with realtor, okay, good. Um, so these look like they're actually good leads, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna go realtors, okay? Then we just save this, okay? Now, what this is going to do is this is just gonna scrape all these people, okay? So I don't actually wanna do that because that, I just don't need to, okay? So we're gonna skip that part. Um, but you're just gonna wait for that to load. And then what you're gonna do is we're gonna go to our next 
pillar, which is actually automating our message sending. So if you are like really weird and you love to send DMs by yourself and you don't want to pay for your your whole day to not have to send DMs, right? Then by all means, just go in and find get the leads from there. You don't have to pay a single cent. Um, and then you can just get like you can just send messages all your life. Okay. But if you have some money and you don't want to spend your entire life manually sending Twitter DMs, then I will show you how you can do that. Okay. So how you do that, right? You want to hop back over to Drippy and we are going to go to automation. Okay. So this is my automation that I have right now. Um, what we'll do to show you how this works is we'll go to new automation. Okay. And we're going to do cold DM 2.0. What we're going to want to do is do script personalizer and we're going to go to configure message. Okay. So for the context here, we're going to choose do not change the script for the script here. Um, we're going to put our script here. Okay. And then for our settings, I'm not going to show you the script yet. I'm going to show you very soon. Okay. Um, for the settings, right, we're going to go to creativity at zero, right? We don't need to split these messages. Well, actually we can, if you, if you want to, um, I personally just don't, um, it doesn't really help me, right? There's a lot of, uh, custom things that you can have. Um, so you can include context of the website, right? So you can choose to like have AI personalize your tweet. Personally, I don't care. Um, and I still see amazing results. Okay. So I wouldn't worry about that. Um, you can also switch to GPT-4 if you want. Then you can add follow-ups, right? So maybe after two days, you want to send like a question mark. Maybe one question mark is fine. And then what I do is after three days, then I send another follow-up. And then I make like kind of a, a Hail Mary joke comment. Notice you haven't got back to me is my hairline. Um, and it's ironic because I'm wearing a hat in my profile picture. Okay. So just figure out something that um, they may, might laugh. Okay. That's, I don't know. That's what I, I do for that. Okay. And then for the automation, right? So this is important. Now, if you send more than 16 messages per hour, you have a risk of getting banned. Okay. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, Josh, you're sending 22 messages an hour. Okay. But here's the thing, right? So the messages that I'm, when I'm sending messages to people, right, it knows that I've sent messages to certain people already, and it skipped those people, right? It's also going to look through people and it's going to see that their profile is not messageable. Okay. And both of those things count as messages, even though it's not actually messaging them. Okay. So that's why I have it to send 22 because in reality, it's not actually sending more than 16. Okay. And then in terms of when you want to be sending them, um, I just set it for, um, like around 18 hours to be sending, um, sometimes 16 hours in this case, right? So you just start at different times, ended at different times, um, but you want it to be around that time and you want it to be realistic uh, in terms of like your time zone, right? Which you can set here. Um, I, I just have mine like this, right? So it, it slightly changes every morning um, when it starts and slightly changes it every night when it stops, okay? So that's how I have it set up. Um, personally, like if you if this is a brand new account, you want to start at like two messages an hour and increase it every single day until you get to like 16 and then I wouldn't do it anymore until you've kind of figured out that most of the things are skipping and then you can increase it to 22, right? So you can see my accounts are sending for a total of like 17 hours, right? So 17 times 22 is approximately 374 messages per day, right? So not all of them are sending. So it's more like 250 messages per day per account, okay? That's really good. So if you can get a approximately a 0.5 to 1% appointment booking rate, which is what I have, right? You can book one to three messages or one to three appointments every single day with one single account. Okay. And then obviously what you, what you want to do after this is just going to click start automation. And then it's actually going to be sending the messages. Okay. So that's how you actually set this up. Now, if you want to see my scripts, I'm going to show you those then. Okay. So, this is what I used to sign my very first Twitter client, like the client that I first got um, using Twitter outreach. Okay. So there's basically a one, two, three, um, four, and then books, five step process. Okay. So first we're going to send them an initiation message. Okay. What this message is, is just to get them to reply. Okay. So if you've watched my copywriting course video um, after this video, I'd recommend you go watch that. But essentially what this does is um, 
is this just gets them to respond, right? Because if they, we get them to respond, they're automatically more engaged in the conversation and they'll be more opening to hearing what we have to say about our product or service, right? So we're gonna send them this message. Our goal is literally to get them to respond. So but once again, like if you if this doesn't make sense in your niche, right? If you are working with like, I don't know, like so software companies, don't ask how their agency is going, right? Common sense, okay? And then I use this, you got any business partners or are you finding so, okay? I got a partnership question for you if that's all right, right? And the reason why I say it like this is just because a partnership question sounds a lot more, it sounds a lot better than I have a pitch for you if that's all right, right? Um, and then we have a befriending message, which is basically kind of, I guess this is kind of, this should be switched, um, but this is asking basically if they'd be open to hearing about our, our strategies on how we can actually achieve x result for them okay once they say yes to that then we send them this right okay sweet i'm sending you a 90 second video that breaks down how we've been able to get results for other agencies and our secret formula for getting results just have a watch um if you like you can just heart this message and we can chat a little bit further right um and this is the video that i send them okay um i'll if you want access to the whole script and this this quick video sales letter that i send them on zoom um you can just go in the second link in the description and uh and then you can um you can fill out a form and I'll, I'll email this script to you okay and then uh, follow-ups right it's important that you actually follow up with these people um if they don't respond to you okay and if like once they actually respond positively you just send them this message right just with the great to hear you're an action taker kind of reconfirming their decision to actually move forward and book a call and then easy step next to, just, to take is just to book a call so we can help you achieve xyz result and then you send them this just let me know once you booked and i will confirm it okay and then if they don't book then you send them these follow-ups okay the memes work really well um you can use them if you want uh, i just use a website called imageflip.com and you can create memes there okay uh and then i just have a bunch of reply templates if you're interested you can go look at these i'm not going to bore you with reading every single one of them out right now um but that's basically how that works okay so hopefully um this was helpful okay if it was just leave a thumbs up uh like the like the video subscribe whatever i don't really care uh, if you want help getting more appointments um you can just click the third link in the description um and uh and maybe we can help you maybe we can't if you don't want to click it i don't care either um but regardless of that have a great day uh and i will see you in the next video